Let's say you have an upcoming dentist appointment. It might be useful for you to actually add that into your calendar so you don't forget. And we can accomplish this by using something called an appointment. So to create an appointment, I'm going to come into my calendar here and I'm going to choose the day that I want to add my appointment to. So maybe I want to add it here to the 6th. I'm going to go ahead and I can actually right click on that day and that gives me all of my different options for things I can go ahead and create. So I'm going to pick a new appointment here. I'll click on that and you'll see it's going to launch a box here, almost similar to starting a new email, which will let me go through and set all of my different appointment settings. So you can see I have a ribbon up here at the top. I have an appointment tab for all my common appointment settings, insert tab for inserting things like pictures, and I can actually attach items to this if I want to, um, even for formatting text, reviewing things, I even have a developer tab if I like. But I'll go back here to appointment, and here I'm just gonna go ahead and add a subject. So let's say this is going to be a uh, you know marketing meeting. Go ahead and type that out. And I can even type the location Okay, maybe this is boardroom B. And here I can choose the exact start and time. So it even lets me choose the day. Now, because I had right clicked on the sixth initially, it's going to uh, automatically assume the sixth uh, for the start and end time, which is great. But here I can actually choose the time. So by default, it's going from 8 a.m. to 8 30 a.m. But maybe I need to change that. So I can actually use my drop down arrows here and I can choose a time. Maybe this goes from 10 until 11. I can even type whatever I want in here. So if I know this is exactly at 10.05 or something like that, I can go ahead and type that in as well. And uh, you know, I can change these to say whatever they want. This goes to 11.15. So you can completely customize them. And then down here, I actually have an area where I can write in a actual message for myself. So if I want to say, you know, make sure you bring your binders, Whatever you want to type, you can just type all sorts of stuff in here and fill this up with whatever notes you need to give. And um, here at the top, I have some other options as well. For instance, when I add appointments to calendars, Outlook will automatically send a little reminder in the form of a pop-up for me a certain amount of time ahead of time. So in this case, 15 minutes ahead of the actual appointment time, which is 10.05, it'll bring a little pop-up in my Outlook screen and remind me about this appointment. But if I want to change that actual reminder, I can come to this drop down list here and I can say, you know what, remind me an hour ahead of time or a day ahead of time or whatever I want to. I can choose a, an increment of time here. I'll go one hour. And that's great. That reminder will come up for me. And I can go ahead and I can press save and close. And I'll go ahead and create the appointment on my calendar. There it is, my marketing meeting. And if I want to go into that meeting, and, or pardon me, that appointment and look at some of the details, I can double click on it, that appointment opens up, and I can go in and I can change things if I want to. And if I change anything, I might want to go ahead and press save and close, and that'll go ahead and save my changes and add it back to the calendar. And that's great. And appointments on calendars, I can actually click and drag and I can move around if I want to reschedule them to different days. And that's nice and you can just move it around to whatever you like. Click on it and click and drag to move it. So move it maybe back up to the sixth. And if you want to delete an appointment, just left click on it and you can use delete on the keyboard or I can right click on it and press delete or left click on it and use delete up here in the appointment tab that shows up here at the top of the screen. Maybe I'll just press delete here and I'll go ahead and remove it. And it's as easy as that and I can add as many appointments as I want to to my calendar. So there we have adding an appointment to the calendar. And in the next video, we'll look at something similar called tasks.